The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 547, the one thing on everybody's mind, Saturday's weather because of this storm system that by Friday is going to be over the plains. Some of the recent trends in the data taking it a little bit farther to the north, which if you were watching earlier in the week, we told you that would indicate more mixing. Snow, ice, rain all on the table for Saturday. We'll break that down in a little more detail here in just a second. And as it continues to drift toward the north, it'll mean that winter storm continues into the northeast in New England. On the backside, we would see just some mountain and snow showers Sunday. But as far as the threats are concerned for Saturday, slick roads, it's pretty much a given with the multiple types of precipitation we expect. If ice accumulation gets to about a quarter of an inch, that's when power outages would have to be taken into account. As far as closures Monday, they're possible. But again, guys, it's really up to your school board, your school superintendents uh, shoveling snow. That's probably going to be farther north into parts of the highlands in that blue that you see right there. So again, this is kind of the first draft and more chapters will be written here over the next few days. In the pink is where we see kind of that mixed bag could start out as some snow before changing the freezing rain and then rain later in the day. Saturday in the green south side could see that brief morning mix before transitioning to some rain. We also mentioned the weather balloons. This is a standard procedure of the whole forecast process. They get sent up twice each day. They record weather observations. This will happen on the West Coast. That data is then fed into the forecast models, which then allows us to put out numbers. Something I would expect to happen within the next day or so, and we'll release that information on all means possible. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, our website, most importantly, you'll see that on the home page. In the meantime, today, pretty calm temperatures, 40s and 50s with clouds increasing. Then by tomorrow, we're windy, we're colder with highs in the mountains in the 30s, everywhere else about 46 to 51 degrees. And as far as tonight and tomorrow morning is concerned, we'll see some snow once again on the western slopes. Good for ski resorts like Snowshoe. Could see a few scattered bursts before sunrise tomorrow morning. Most others see a whole lot of nothing. It's going to be a much weaker system compared to what we see on Saturday. For the New River Valley, we're in the 30s tomorrow. Windy at times as well. 40s with sunshine Friday. Then again, Saturday, pretty much from start to finish, you'll see that wintry mix developing. And uh, then by Sunday, Temperatures rise above freezing heading into next Tuesday, mostly looking at rain and it could be quite a bit of it, but we're going to focus on one storm system at a time so as to not go confusing everybody. All right for today, temperatures in the Roanoke Valley near 50 degrees, 40s tomorrow and Friday. Of course, that wintry mess, a big part of our forecast heading into Saturday, Saturday night and Sunday, mostly dry. Monday's mostly dry as well. Tuesday is looking wet with high temperatures 45 to 50.